Good evening. Uh, I'd first like to start off by saying last week's six to one vote to approve a bid by Ehler and Associates to analyze the district security systems that was $126,000 higher than the second bid was financially reckless, erroneous, and a slap in the face of taxpayers. I think shame on you because neither one of you, I believe with all of my heart, would never handle your personal finances as such. And I think that there is sure to be a deficit in the near future of this district with the way that you are spending. Secondly, PPEE has requested on numerous occasions that the academic data be made accessible via the district's website. Still not happening as of my latest glance at the website. But currently, according to state stats, only 64% of RPS students graduate among a four-year cohort. And only 68% are graduating among a five-year cohort. Now, we know that's not accurate because that's not counting in our students that are displaced, that are put in other programs, that drop out, that are expelled. So we're probably at a 50% or lower graduation rate of all of our kids. And in even better news, an NBC News article was released on September 18, 2014, titled, Rockford Among Least Educated Cities in America. Rockford was one of the 150 cities identified by Wallet Hub as one of the, not 150, but 148 out of 150 least educated cities. Is that what you want your legacy to be? Is that what you want your contribution to this city to be? I should hope not. Not only for my child, not only for someone else's child, but for the sake of this city, prioritize appropriately. Schools are Thank not you. more Thank important you, than students. Your, your time's up. Sorry. Thank Vote you, no to the referendum. Okay.